Hey, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to implement the Tinder style card swiping gestures. For me personally, I've been working on creating an app to connect shooters to students. So I was looking for something like this and I found this awesome package. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I'll link the package below so you can take a closer look at it, but I'll show you the basics real quick because it's super easy to get started. Now just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which is pointing us to this home page, which is a stateful widget, and inside I've just got here a blank scaffold. Now before we do anything, let's go into our pubspec yaml and import our package. So it's called flutter underscore swipeable. And I'm just going to leave it blank after that just to import the latest version. And once you've done that, let's close it. And in the scaffold, inside the body, let's just create a very basic container. Let's say height of 300, width of 200. And let's just give it a random color gray just so we can see what's going on. Okay, so there's our little box. Now in the child, I want to create a stack. And so we're going to have a stack of cards. So if I just create another container here real quick, and give it a deep purple color we're going to start creating our tinder card so let's actually keep our code nice and clean and create a new file now when it comes to things like these cards i like to put it in a separate folder called utilities and inside here i'm just going to call it tinder card so let's create a stateless widget called tinder card and for now the only information i want to know about this card is the color and so let's create the constructor and let's actually require a color and so this card is just going to be a very basic container with a specified color so save this and now we can come back to our home page and inside the stack if you start typing tinder card you should be able to see the option and just press tab to auto import it and so here we can just specify a color okay now this is the part where we're going to add the swipeable gestures so if you come back to the tinder card let's wrap this container with a widget called swipeable and this is the package that we just imported in our pubspec yaml at the start and without any further modifications if you just save this you should be able to just drag this card wherever you want and just flick it away now we have no more cards so if you come back to the stack we can just create a few more of these ones and let's just give some different colors then you now have this like card stack where you can swipe them away and so on a very basic level, this is how you implement it. Now, if you come back to the Tinder card, if you look under the swipeable options, you can see there's a lot of things here that you can play around with. So obviously some of these are gonna be very useful, like on swipe left, on swipe right. So depending on the function of your app and what you want it to do, let's say for example, if you swipe right, it also lets you know where the final position is. And inside here, you can decide what you want the app to do when the user swipes right. And just to show you that this actually works, let's just print a statement here. So if the user swipes right, I'm just gonna print out in the console that the user has swiped right. So if I swipe right, here, let me just drag this up so you guys can see. You can see that whatever's inside this function is gonna get executed. Okay, so this is where you should put your logic for what you actually want the app to do. But that's pretty much it. Play around with it and let me know if you have any problems with this. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!